Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio. In this tutorial, we will be making wood style buttons in Gravit Designer. You'll need the following in order to follow along with this tutorial. You'll need Gravit Designer, which you can either download or use online. And you're going to need a wood texture. I've provided links for both in the description. Go ahead and make a new design that is 1920 in width and 1080 in height. Just click create. Go ahead and add a new layer and just rename it background. Choose the rectangle tool and make a rectangle the same size as your document. And then go ahead and change the background color. I'm going to change mine to a dark bluish gray using the hex code of 323646. You take your rectangle layer and drag it into the background group and then lock your background group. Add a new layer, rename it button. Draw out a square, make it 200 pixels in width and height. Rename the rectangle layer red and change the fill color to a red color. I'm going to be the using the hex code of 931600. Then change the corner radius to 20. Make a copy of this red rectangle. Change the bottom layer to read yellow. And then change the fill color to a yellow color. I am going to use the hex code of FFCD15. Select your yellow layer and change the size to 220 in width and height. And you can just use your arrow keys to center it behind the red square that we have. And make sure that your corner is 20. Make a copy of the yellow layer. And on the very bottom layer, go ahead and rename that to 3D Step 1. Change the fill color to an orange color. I am going to use the hex code of B73B00. Move this layer down by 10 pixels. You can do this by holding down your shift key and hitting your down arrow once. Make a copy of this layer and rename it 3D Step 2 and go ahead and change the fill color back to the original red color. I'm using the hex code of 931600. Then go ahead and move this down by 10 pixels. Select the red layer at the very top Make a copy of it. Then go ahead and import the wood texture. Then place and scale the wood texture over the button. Then the layer stack, make sure that this wood layer is between the two red layers. To make sure that you have the texture and the top red layer selected. And then we'll make a clipping mask. Go to modify, 
maskless shape. Then go ahead and change your blending mode from normal to soft light and rename this group wood. Then select your entire button group and just align it to the center of your artboard. Make sure that you have everything selected on your button group and we want to make two copies. Place one to the left of the original and one to the right of the original. Now choose the button layer that is on the left side and go ahead and we'll rename this stop button. Twirl it open and lock the wood layer. Make a rectangle. We'll make this 75 pixels in width and height. Give it a quarter of 20 and make sure that it is a white fill. Go ahead and rename the layer stop and place it in your stop button folder and then just align it to the center. Now choose your pause button group which will be the one on the right so we'll go ahead and rename this pause button. Again, lock the wood layer. Add a rectangle. We'll make this 30 in width and 100 in height. And again, round the corner to 20 and give it a white fill. Make a copy and move it over towards the right and select both of these rectangles and go up to the create compound shape and select union. Go ahead and rename your layer pause and place it in the pause button folder and then just center it on the button. Now for the last button, let's go ahead and add a triangle. Go ahead and lock the little ratio icon in the middle. And we're going to make this triangle 75 pixels in width. We'll go ahead and round the corners to 20. Give it a white fill. and rotate it so it is facing the correct direction. Rename your polygon to play and rename your original button to play button and then put your triangle play into the play button folder and center it on the button. And there you have your three wood style buttons that you can use for any kind of design or in a game. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations. The link to my Twitter feed is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.